Hi Glenn, Davina here. I'm going to show you how to create perspective text and put it in a, um, a photograph. First of all we need to create the text so click on the text tool and type and I'll put inside. Decide on what font you want. Um, I'm going to leave it at sans but I want to make it a little bit bigger do it like that. Next we want to make the perspective box so we click on the Bezier tool and I'm going to do it around it so I know it will fit in. So click at the bottom left hand corner and if you want a straight line hold the control key and go up <coughs> excuse me come across click hold control come down and click on the bottom and you have your perspective template and I'm going to click select and I move the inside the text one out and click on the path and object to path whilst the text is selected hold the shift key down and click on the box go up to extensions come to down to modify path and click on perspective and it should do its magic and it has done. Oh, that's brilliant. Obviously it's a little bit too big so click on there and you can resize it by holding control down and bringing it into the box like that and click off. I'm going to move that out because what we're going to do now is use this box for the image. I'm going to bring in an image and you will do the same thing obviously so click off there so it's up to file click on import and I've got one here blue sky and open click on embed and there you have it. What you're going to do now is turn this into a pattern and so it's up to object down to pattern and click on objects to pattern and it has saved it into the clipboard so you don't need that anymore and get rid of it. Come back to your box here and we're going to fill it. So go up to the fill and stroke and normally we would use this one which is paint but we go to the checkerboard one click on that and it fills it with the paint and you will see that there's a pattern there that's what we've copied and the rest of these are preset ones which you can use if you want to. With it being a pattern it's tiled and so we've got to jiggle it about a little bit and in order to do that as it says here use the node tool. So we click on the node tool and I'm going to get rid of that and what we see here is um, the X circle which is to rotate and the box. If we hold click on the square it will either make it bigger or smaller and on the cross it will move it up. So if we wanted it smaller then bigger and then we'll do it like that you see. So again play around with that and when you're happy with what you've got click select. Now you may want to uh, blur it which I think or change the opacity so it's up to fill and stroke and there's the blur and the opacity so I'll blur it a little bit that's too much and I'm going to turn the opacity down as well that will do I'm now going to bring the writing in so select the writing click and drag and of course it's underneath so we want to bring it to the top it's up to here and raise it and there it will be in 
And if you want uh, to keep them together, click up here to select all and then go up to, oh, there it is, group. So that when you move it around, that's what you've got. That's all there is to it. A word of warning, it's a little bit unstable. It's, it works okay with one word, but I've been trying to put a couple of words in and it's been all silly. I just warn you there. Hope that's helped anyway. Speak soon. Bye-bye.